All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Bahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe, but to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson is going to be a short one, right? Most of my videos are going to be short now, except from the, the camp days and a few other times, mostly it's going to be short, decisive and straight to the point. This lesson is going to be called the laws are not grievous. Okay. We talk about the old covenant, new covenant, right? But the laws within itself are not grievous. And we should never look at the law like, oh, the law is, is holding me back. The people of the world are thinking like this. I can't be free and because the law is, we have the law because it keeps us in place. That's why we have the law. Because if we didn't have the law, we'd just be like brute beasts. So this is First John 5, right? And free, for this is the love of the most high that we keep his commandments. So how do you know how do you know someone loves Yahweh Shai? Because they're keeping the commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. They shouldn't be grievous. Grievance is what an annoyance. Okay. And whatsoever is born of the most high overcometh the world. So if you're one of them spirits, them first fruits that were born of the most high, you've already overcame this world. Okay, and this is the victory. I love this scripture that overcometh the world, even our faith. And I always say this if you have faith, there's particular things you're going to do. You first wake up to this truth, it doesn't mean you're going to keep the Sabbath straight away, the Passover. You might leave it to a year, two years, and you might keep it. But what you can do, what we can do, you men, you can keep a beard on your face, the women, you can wear dresses. That's easy to do. Don't eat pork. That's, well, you know what? I shouldn't say that. It's not easy for everyone to do because different brothers have different sins. But we've got to make that effort. The laws are not grievous. These laws, they're righteous. Okay. And we should want to keep the laws. Hope I ain't sounding like one of them Pharisees. <laughs> Okay, because the difference is they were talking about the law, but they were not keeping the law. And who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High. Right? So those that believe that Yahweh Shai truly is the son of the Most High, they've already overcame this world. Right? It's just, it just needs to be played out in the flesh. They've already overcome. This is what you've got to understand. Even them spirits on the left hand side, they already know who the elect are. Okay, so when particular things happen in our life, you may have obstacles and people trying to stop you. Everybody's things pre-written. Everybody's life's pre-written. Okay, so now we went to that Baba Kasha. Let's go to Matthew 5 and 17. Let's see what Yahweh said concerning the law. This is Matthew 5. And 17. Right? Hold on a minute. No, it's the right one. It's the right one. Let your lights will shine before men. Right? 16. So part of you letting your light shine, you're keeping the ways, you're keeping the precepts of Yahweh Shai. The laws are precepts. That's part of you letting your light shine. Okay? That they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven, who is who? Yahweh Shai. Right? Think not I am come to destroy the law. Okay. Or the prophets. Okay. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Because remember when Yahabashai came on the scene, he had them Pharisees saying to him, You make yourself as Abraham. No, no. Yahabashai said, Think I am not come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am come to and the prophets spoke of Yahabashai. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. What was fulfilled? 
what was fulfilled? It was fulfilled when he came on the scene, when he was on the cross, the new covenant. Right? It was fulfilled. He fulfilled the law. And within the law, what's within the law when you sin? You offer up a lamb for sacrifice. Yahweh was that lamb. This was fulfilled and because he kept the law 100% and he was that lamb without blemish. Why was he that lamb without blemish? Why? Because he kept the law. He was, Yahweh was perfect. Absolutely perfect. He kept all the laws. Okay, so this ain't a thing where we don't say, we don't say, I would never do video saying, oh, we don't keep none of the laws. No, we keep the laws to the best of our ability. Okay. So we went to that. Let's go to Psalms 119. Things are changing now. We need to change it, adapt, change the way we do things. And Lord willing, these videos are edifying. This ain't the time to play around. This is the time to draw closer to your how by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Psalms 119. And when you go into Psalms 119, there's so much. It's basically David going into all the zeal for the precepts he had. Okay. Check this out. It says, this is Psalms 119 and 97. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all a day so king david loved the law right the torah because that's what what do you think david had he didn't have the new testament he had the torah he says he loves the law it is my meditation all the day so what do we meditate upon the law okay all the day though through that commandments that has made me wiser than my enemies and this happens, people think, oh, you're trying to be a smart ass. You think you know it all. Bro, it's not an ego, this is not an ego trip. The men that are practicing the laws, the statutes and commandments and have faith. Yahweh Shai makes them wiser than their enemies. Right? This is not an ego thing. A lot of people probably watch this in the background and say, oh, he thinks he knows more than... Well, Yahweh Shai set up certain men to teach others. Right? This ain't personal. For they are ever with me. What the commandments. And this was, what was he saying? This, this is it on that. Okay, there's so many different precepts. Um, this is Psalms 119 and 45. I cry with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cry unto thee, save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. King David was pleading. Right? I cry unto thee, save me, and I shall keep that. I keep that testimony. Okay. I prevented the dawning of morning and cried and hoped in thy word. My eyes prevent the, the night watches that I might meditate in thy word. And back then you had what watchmen over the city. Right. Hear my voice according to thy love and kindness, O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. So those that are drawing after mischief. Why? Because they're far from the laws of Yahweh Shai. And what's one of the most important commandments? Right? What's one of the most important commandments? Love thy brother, thy neighbor, thy brother, as thyself. First one is love the Lord Yahweh Shai with all thy power, with all thy heart, with all thy heart and soul. You, you follow the first one, then you were going to follow the second one. Why? Because you fear him. And you honor your Habashai. Right? So you keep in the first one. Okay. Serve your Yahweh Yahushai. All your soul with all your heart, with all your mind. Love him. The second one's gonna follow. You're gonna be a servant. You're gonna be passionate about this truth. You're gonna be moved to do the work no matter what. Okay. Verse one one hundred and fifty one, me shut off. That are near, O Lord, and the commandments are truth. Concerning that testimony, you have known of old that has founded them forever. Right? Forever. What do you think we're going to be judging people by in the kingdom? The law. Right? This is what we're going to be using. The law. To handle matters. Right? 
in this kingdom we're living in, Esau won't let us do that. Hate speech ex extremist. Because the law to Esau, the, the laws he sees in the Bible is too extreme. But look at the law Esau, look at the laws Esau's pushing. They're pretty extreme. LGBTism. Right? All the madness that's going on the transgender. So everything's going to be done the right way within the kingdom. Right? The laws are not grievous. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.